Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you from wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you notice your VMIX started to hang or lag whenever you are streaming live to any social media account or whenever you are recording or when I even doing both of them and you are trying to follow up on the social media account and you are noticing it's actually lagging or hanging or blacking out, showing you broadcast signal paused or stopped wait for some seconds and like that it's actually a minor problem minor thing that is causing that thing i'm going to show you what to do and how to do it when i was streaming also i had the same issue and challenges until i do this thing and it's not stopped and it was going smoothly as it is it's actually the system compatibility compatibility sorry that caused it and i want to show you what to do my name is joseph olasukomi welcome to extensive all <laughs> Okay, so this is my screen here. I'm just gonna go straight to Vmix. Yeah, I'm gonna work with the settings. Wanna work with the settings. So you just have to enter the settings and make sure your output size is 1280 by 720. Normally by default, sometimes it should be 1080p. This 1080, but I wanna work with 720. 1280 by 720. Yes, and please make your frame rate. My frame rate here is 29.9, .9, but I wanna make our frame rate par 25p. Please make it in par 25p then the input size okay we won't leave the input size they don't touch that on performance please don't make sure this is ticked like unbox this if it's boxed please unbox this because we're not working with high input performance so we're also going to work with the auto to make it okay yes and in case you have another graphics card me now for this laptop my graphics card is inbuilt and it's only one that's why it's in default but if you have another graphics card the moment you select this you can choose the graphics card you need and we're gonna have to make this auto just to make it smooth auto yeah in case of any thing and we'll go to external outputs yes in case you're using external outputs in case we're using the external sorry in case you're using external to go live and you can go live using stream that's facebook and the rest you can also go live using external using facebook also so if you're using external i'm going to make this power 25p and also this power 25p for the second one in case you're using youtube and facebook and what else okay let's save this let me see nothing else for now let's save this the moment you press ok the film is going to have to restart to save the changes so i'm going to press ok to restart because it's fine by us and the moment it restarts Yes, and the moment it restarts, this is it. It's just gonna have the settings is already saved there. You see your 720p, everything is there. So what else are we gonna do? I'm gonna change the add input in case you're using a um, capture card or any camera you're using to add to it. So we're gonna have to make the camera also in 1280 by 720p. Any camera I'm gonna use. I'm using. I use my phone for videos in my church i use my phone for videos in any place i'm going to sometimes i use videos i use phones of samsung s22 samsung s20 because the camera is very sharp as clear as cameras so if you want to use any camera like sometimes i use this webcam i use droid cam anyone i'm going to show you this in my next video to come just have to make sure the resolution is 1280 and 720 and the frame rate is also power 25 one will have to make it the same with the output for the vmix and the audio if you are not if you don't have an inbuilt audio you can make this if you have an inbuilt audio sorry you can make this none so you only use your audio because me i use a direct audio from the mixer so i don't need all this audio from the phone and the rest because they can actually be anywhere in the audience or anywhere in the stage so i'm just going to turn it off but i can on it also actually and just make sure that is the in person 5p make sure you're recording if you want to record record settings you also make the record setting in 720 it should record the size you know it should record in this is a 1280 by 720 and the frame rate also should be about 25p and i have to record an mp4 actually we don't want to have another format that will be higher yes this is it. use hardware encoder I should use the hardware encoder here yes and then your stream also in your stream you know this is for recording your external also i think it's going to have the first and we set it in the settings over there so in your stream since your stream does not have settings in this one here we're going to have to set it from here directly whenever you want to stream you're going to have to do this every time you want to stream whenever you want to stream you have to just change the quality here the quality change it to facebook h264 
two six four seven twenty p this one here not this one it's usually this one we is default setting but we need this one here this one is more let's say more smoother and less angry and laggy so i'm gonna use this in case you're using anyone you're using facebook stream key or anything you just have to make sure this is 720 facebook h264 then your settings here the video bitrate what you use to record i don't know if you know your video bitrate but you can use you can know your video bitrate by using the speed test i recommend using speed test for you what does speed test do speed test actually like how i put it it knows or it calculates the network stability let me put it that way it calculates the network stability it's going to show you which network you're using if it's mtn tell glow or etc then they're going to show you the rate at which you are downloading the rate at which the laptop or whatever you're using is downloading network from the data from or from your from, from your sim and the rate at which is uploading the network i recommend you using um network cable yes i recommend using network cable actually i will not say you should use wi-fi or anything because wi-fi let's say it's slower but network cable is faster using ethernet connection look at it over here guys ethernet ethernet is faster using your cord connect your cord to your phone if you're using your phone to for for your internet or you can connect it to your wi-fi if you're using your wi-fi for your internet you're not using the wi-fi don't own it and use it but on it and connect cord to the, then connect your cord to the system connect the other part of the cord to whatever you're using if it's the wi-fi or the phone and it's going to be faster that way then you can go test with your sp speed of your system it's called speed test i just actually testing look at it's using etel here i'm actually using etel then the ping if you play games you know the meaning of ping ping is like the rate at which is going it's in ms it's in ms is pretty fast okay so the rate at which is downloading the rate at which is downloading network from the server which is 3.7 3.72 mbps okay that's good and rate at which is uploading it maybe to facebook or wherever you're going the rate at which is uploading the rate at which, the rate at which it's using it is let's say it's in 7.36 right now so you can connect that to your stream settings that i told you earlier connect that to your stream settings in your settings you can go is in is in way it's in 3.2 download so 3.2 let's say you can put it in 1.5 or 1.8 or 2 yes that is also okay let's just put it in 1.8 for now it should not be too really really that i because you know it's fluctuating and also cannot really be stable in nigeria like that so let me just make it in two then that is okay and make sure it's in 720 2bs yes then you can save and exit and whenever you're using whatever you're using it's just gonna be fast okay so just make sure you are using ethernet cable you're using your cable to connect to your wi-fi or to your phone that you're using to browse so it's faster than using wi-fi and if you're using your capture card make sure your capture card is also in 1280 by 720 that way it's going to be easy going okay so just make sure you're using a cord to browse through your wi-fi or through your phone make sure you're using your cord because that way is more faster than using um the wi-fi directly or it's more faster than on the wi-fi and connecting to it yes and if you're using your capture card or your phone to do your camera i'm going to show a video later on on how to use your phone to go live on facebook using vmix and 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 the rest like that i'm going to show you that video soon but for now just make sure your phone or your camera whatever you're using is also in the same settings with the vmix that is 1280 by 720 and your stream setting also is in 1280 by 720 that way it's going to be smoother and faster trust me it's because the system is not that we can just try it out and see if it's going to work and if it works good for you and please if this video has been very useful to you please and remember to like this video so that the youtube algorithm can recommend it to people also who are searching for this same issue the same problem and they can see how to fix it and i pray it's going to help them to fix it please please subscribe to this YouTube channel also subscribe to it turn on the notification bell so that i can get update, updated whenever i post a new video you can get updated whenever i post new video on any issues happening in vmix or any media account any media um applications actually any media applications be it obs easy worship bible show vmix itself i'm going to be doing different, different tutorial videos on it and anything i'm going to help you as best as i can thank you so much for watching my name is joseph olasukomi welcome to extensive